All right. Um, hey. All right. I'm gonna show you how to delete a admin account. Like the like if you made an admin account to change some settings for something. Um, now you don't need the admin account and you want to delete it because you don't want to get caught with it at school. So what you want to do is go to System Preferences and then down to Accounts under system tabs and then all right I'm under my own first uh, account let's pretend this is your school account so you're on your school account whatever click unlock and then type in like root and then the password you made for it all right now what you want to do is click on like under other accounts click on the admin account you made now down here under login options you want to put in like you want to press the subtract sign and that's gonna delete it so delete the home folder as well so okay and then there you go you're done lock it so you don't get caught or ask any questions about it and oh before that go back into it like type in your root account password whatever and then under login options over here um, it should say automatic login and since you made a new admin account it's probably gonna go down it's gonna want to automatically log you in and what you want to do is put off like click the off click the off option and then <clears throat> that way it makes it look even more like you haven't done anything to your computer so yeah and then make sure it's under uh, name and password or list of users however your school has it set up I don't know. Ours is set up to name and password, but I'm on a different external hard drive, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, oh yeah, so you do that, and then <clears throat> lock it back up. And then, since you made a new admin account, it's going to change it. It's going to change your computer name, <coughs> as you can tell. I don't have the account anymore, but the computer name is still the same. Um, Alright, what you want to do, it's usually locked, so go ahead and unlock it with your new root user that you've probably already made. So, type in the password, and then, alright, this is where it gets tricky. You have to, well not very tricky, but you like if you didn't what's it call write down your computer name before you made an admin account it's probably not that hard to find it out but so, like my school it has numbers it has like it's not the IP address or anything like that it's kinda different but other schools might be different it could be your first name or your last name whatever it was um uh, if you remember it, go ahead and type it in and then exit out of system preferences and it should save automatically. But if it was numbers like my school, what you want to do is go down, go up here to the little apple, click on it about this Mac, and then more info, and then down to the network section, and then click on locations. And then scroll down under Ethernet. It should say hardware, Mac, address, or address, however you say it. And then you highlight that. And then you want to copy it. All right, now you can exit out of this. And go back to up here, over here to computer name highlight it and uh, paste it and then delete the colons in between uh, 
and then that's it you exit out and it should save but I don't want that so I'm gonna change it back to how I had it I think it was like that uh, uh, alright it's like that alright so yeah you change it ex exit out if you're not sure if it's saved go back to system preferences under sharing again and then right there make sure it's saved and now you're ready to go back to school and oh yeah before you do that though lock it and then exit and there you go that's it